drastic times call for drastic measures, the big man is out. Hello all, Michael Munch here and welcome to another episode of the FM18 West Ham Save. Following on from a pretty disappointing outing in the last episode. No games have happened since a 1-0 defeat, two Spurs in the FA Cup semi-final and a 1-1 draw away in Monaco in the Champions League semi-final. Actually, following on from that, it's been more disappointment. I tried to do... Uh, God, this is a nice start to the episode, isn't it? Nice and happy. Keep it light. Uh, I did a team meeting with the guys. Said that I thought we could do a bit better. Didn't go very well. The guys said that they were playing really well. Uh, and, yeah, you can see here, morale is probably at an all-time low. Um, and I have no idea how we're going to react today. We need to really beat Liverpool. So, I'm not holding out much hope at the moment. I said today, our first game is away at Anfield. Seventh place in the league they are. They are still chasing a top four place. Uh, and we have to keep an eye on Chelsea who are away at Bramall Lane against Sheffield United today. Not expecting much there. Sheffield United are 19th in the league. So fighting for their survival. But I think Chelsea are probably going to get the better of them. In terms of the lineup, we're sticking with the same team that actually went away uh, to France. So Butland to goal with Van Dijk, Oxford and De Ligt as the back three. Bernat and Andre Zola as the wing backs with Toussaint and Albeck in the middle. Sissou, Keane and Brenner make up the rest of the squad or the starting lineup rather it's i don't know what to make of it now like we're so close to winning both this could even be a brilliant year where we've won the treble including the league cup or it could be absolutely awful and we could only walk away with the league cup which would be absolutely gutting to finish this series on Liverpool line up in goal carries and goal so there is a chance uh Dinier, hendry matip and alexander arnold uh, Keita and Henderson in the middle, Luan, Sobi and Wilson in behind Andone. So it's a pretty strong lineup, but not as good as it could be, I think. They're resting some good players. They've got Woodburn on the bench, Seri, Brewster, Alex Oxley, Chamberlain, and Joe Gomez. So they're obviously. I don't know what they're. Maybe they're in the Europa League. I don't know. But Liverpool come into this one 11th in the form table. We're second. Let's show them why. Only Moyes are keen like that. But I'm going to tell the boys I have faith in them all. And I need to kind of get the boys back on side after my team meeting debacle, which did not go very well. So off we go in what is a massive game in the context of the season. Basically, we win here. I think we have a really, really good chance of retaining the title. If we don't, it might be curtains because we've got Arsenal at home after this and then Sheffield United away to finish. And we are on the counter to start with. And oh my God, there's a highlight in the set. Well, just after the first minute, this is unusual for us on counter. Usually we don't get a highlight until around about the 20th minute. So Moise Keane goes through, whips it in. Good uh, calm play from Hendry there. And it's worked back to Naby Keita. And Harry Wilson, who's our up for player of the year at the moment, he's been had a sensational season. So we are going to have to keep the tabs on him. And Liverpool look like they're building the attack here as it falls to Naby Keita in the middle. He knocks out to Luan. This is dangerous for us. We need to get rid of it. Back to Keita. They're shifting it around nicely. Trent on the outside. Whips it back post. Luan heads it over. Lucky, lucky break for us. I think the players are suffering from a little bit of a lack of confidence. All the way through, we have been. We know that we're better than most teams. And th recently, it seems to have gone completely opposite. As Benat hits a hopeful ball towards Keane. He makes something of it. Keane. Back to Benat. Mm, it's not his best effort to whip it in, but it's one to two, so we got quite lucky with the way the ball fell there. Sissu, I'll bet nice ball into Bernat. Now, time for some quality delivery to Moise Keane. Keane, 1 0, get in, come on. That's a big goal. Big goal from Moise. He's been our average, on average rating, he's been our best player this season. Um, I haven't played him in all the games, but he's played a lot more uh, in the second half of the season, and obviously with the second team, he was doing really well. He's played well enough, he's made his way ahead of Fiat up, and this is why. A great finish from Moise Keane. He tucks it away. Get in. Come on. And there's another highlight 10 minutes in. The last few episodes haven't been highlight packed, but at least this one we've got plenty to get excited about. As Audrey Rizzo whips at the back post to Moise Keane. He doesn't really get hold of it. Wan Bernat skins his man, whips it in front post. Brenner. Oh, what what a save from Karras. I thought he'd hit the post. This is a complete polar opposite to the game against Tottenham at Wembley that we had in the semi final in the last one. We've had four shots, three of them have been on target. And in the game against Tottenham, we'd had about 24 shots and only four of them were on target. Like We just could not get it in the right direction. At least this time, we are we seem to be hitting the target with our efforts, apart from that one in the middle from Brenner, which was absolutely terrible. Not a great ball there, and they've got a bit lucky there, to be honest. That's annoyed me. They're number 17, they should have given the ball away. And Harry Wilson stands up. Juan Bernat fires it inside to Naby Keita, who drives at the defence. Luan's missed the ball, and it's fallen to Delit. I can see the Brenner run. Delit hasn't seen it yet, don't you dare. Oh crap, he's getting straight to Henderson, to Harry Wilson, who hits it straight into Jack Butland's arms. Liverpool threatening here. 
dangerous times. I'm not sure if that was the highlight, you know, is we play out to Virgil van Dijk and he hits a long ball over the top. Digne, he's left it short. Brenner is through, he must score. Brenner, 2 0, game over, you would think. I wonder why the highlight was continuing and the chance did come from one good effort by Harry Wilson at one end to Kenneth Brenner being absolutely brilliant. Digne made a bad pass a few minutes ago and he got away with it. Not this time. It's brilliant from Van Dyke. That touch, that pass. Obviously, it wasn't his best ball ever because it didn't hit his target. But Karras probably should have come to claim that. Brenner just pops it around him. A great finish. Come on. The league could be ours. We are te we have a 10 goal difference over Chelsea. And the highlights are still not over yet. The first half is still going on. Digne, who's had a mare of a first half, heads it to the wham. He finds Wilson. We have to try and keep a clean sheet before half time. That's a brilliant ball out to Trent Alexander Arnold. He's got one other delivery on him. He whips it to Andone. Great header out. Falls to Cater to Harry Wilson. He finds the man at the back post. Oh, crap. Oh. He just couldn't hold on to half time. 2 1. It's a good goal from the poor Harry Wilson with the assist. Luan with a decent finish. Butland should probably save it. Looking at it, it didn't look great from where I was sitting. Great header away, originally away by Oxford. Barry Wilson picks the ball up. And that's awful from Butler. He's got his old butter wrists out there. That is atrocious keeping. We'll go for another 15 minutes in the second half with these guys. If we get a third goal, we'll make changes quicker. But as it stands, this game is a must win. But Van Dyke, who's been absolutely exceptional against his former club today, finds this year. And then Brenner, lovely switch of the play to Moise Keane. He skins his man. Keane, whip it back post. He plays it into Aldrizola. Good clearance. Oh my god, he's at the bar. Matip to Alexander-Arnold. It is literally end-to-end. -end. This is the kind of game I love to show. This is finally what I was... We've been waiting to see for a few episodes now. It's just a, an end-to-end -end quality game. As Reese Oxford tries to get away from under. Oh, you are joking. Not like this. The game is shafting me at the moment. It's literally shafting me. The goal against Tottenham... Even the goal against Monaco is a kind of just oh, where it fell to. But, but this is... Come on, really? Reese Oxford divvied on it a bit, should have kicked it out. I mean, that is bollocks. That is so annoying. There's a highlight straight after the goal. Would not surprise me if we were going to throw this away. We were 2 are uh, 2 up and cruising. Not sure what that ball is from Audrey Zola. Not his best bit, and he's giving it to Hendry. We're just waiting for a mistake from Liverpool. That's the best we can hope for at the moment, because we're not playing well enough to... Brilliant ball from Tussar into Keane. Keane... He's threatening, but he's just a little off. His radar is just off. We're in danger here. I'm going to take Sussy off, and I'm going to bring on Arp. Fear Arp, this is your moment. I've gone attacking, and Bernat plays it into Olbeck. Olbeck fires it out to Fear Arp. Great ball from Arp to Virgil van Dijk. You've got to score that. Corner to us, 20 minutes to go. We're piling on the pressure now. We know we need to win. Arbeck into Keane. Keane gets in. 3-2, come on. Magic, 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 magic. Right, it's a risk, but I am taking off Kenneth Brenner. Danny Drinkwater is coming on. We are solidifying. This is this is a massive result if it stays as it is. We're going to tell the boys to concentrate. Alex Oxley chamberlain is on. Harry Wilson, who's given us nightmares all day, has been taken off. It's not the best decision. Corner to us. Danny Drinkwater plays it to Albert. He hits it to Arp. Arp has to finish it. He plays it to Reese Oxford. Why has he hit that? Why are we doing this? What is going on? Luan's got the ball. You can see Oxley chamberlain on the left-hand side. That is a shocking ball from Luan. Is it going to play out the entire minute? I don't know if I can handle it, but then get rid of it for Christ's sake. I'll play by Audrey Zola to Toussaint to Keane. Keane plays in art. Must be. Oh, yes. Yes. 4-2. Get in. This time attacking pays off. Good ball up from Butler and great take from Audrey Zola. Two start the ball away from Keane as well. Little through the gap. He saw it. Matip lost his man and Arp just finished it supremely. Yes. Come on. Come on. you got to blow up now. Chamberlain drives at the box. Hits it miles over. Surely. Full time is blown. A 4-2 win away at Anfield. Keeps us top of the table. Arsenal at home and Sheffield United away to go. And we will have retained our Premier League title.
the poor manager Roger Schmidt is not particularly happy I don't think with that performance and though to be fair they were arguably actually I don't know I think in the last 20 minutes of the game we really dominated them as I praised Moise Keane a bit more because a 9.2 this boy is magic but yeah I can see why Liverpool will be a bit upset like I said it's two games to go in the Premier League 86 points each in the next episode we will polish that off and we will know where we finish for now though all eyes turn to a home game against Monaco in the Champions League semi-final and my faith has been restored. So we are here viewers, day of the Champions League semi-final, leg two. In the other one PSG looked to overturn an away deficit uh, at home to Valencia. They did score two away goals so all they need to do is win uh, 1-0 and that will see them through. I put my money on them to do it but Valencia are no, uh, no pushovers. For us it's all about winning. Win or get a 0-0 and that will do. Let's see if we can pull it off. I think we are going to stick with the same team that did so well against Liverpool. So, Butland's in goal. Actually, but we are going to go from the counter to attacking. So, Butland's in goal. Van Dijk, Oxford, De Litt as the back three. Bernat and Aldridge are the, uh, the wing backs. And then you've got two starting out back in the midfield with Sissou in behind Keane. And Brenner, Keane retains his place up front. He's passed a fitness test. He is fine. Almost looks like exactly the same team for Monaco but they've got Fabinho at right back with Tielemans coming in oh that's it's not bad is it they've got Falcao on the bench as well Falcao okay so the boys I'm going to pick up from where you left off last time morale is seemingly back everyone's in really good spirits let's hope that continues it's a massive game it's arguably the biggest one pretty much in West Ham's history actually you have to say this is a huge game Last year we fell slightly short, but we were away in the second leg at Bayern where we were humbled, frankly. I think it was 6-1 in the end. It was an utter humbling. Uh, two, so I got sent off after about four minutes in that game, so this will probably be a bit better. Because he hasn't got sent off yet, so that's improvements. Progress. Our first highlight, Audrey Zola into Brenner. Brenner dances around at least two or three players there. Goes to the byline, whips it in. It's not quite for to Keane. Will Bernat get there? He's managed to get himself booked already. Good man. Uh, nice ball out from two sides to Bernat. He whips it to the back post. Brenner, square back. Keane, great save to go. Keane, get in. He can't stop scoring. <laughs> he can't stop scoring. Oh, what a player. He has come good in the final season. He's been here for a few years. When we originally had him on loan. I'm so glad we signed him. And I can't believe I have not made this joke throughout the series. But some might say he's a... Uh, a keen goal scorer. <laughs> that was absolutely terrible. What isn't terrible is that it's 1 0. Come on. Get in. Come on. Massive as Salah doubles PSG's lead. Oh dear. Come on, Mo. Be, take pity on me. Take pity on me when we meet you, mate. There's another highlight in the 22nd minute. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Jemison has shown a second yellow card. Monaco are down to 10 men absolute scenes we're going off attacking we go on control are oh, beautiful we don't need to do that much work now we can just keep the ball play it cool as they try and pass it out from the back it looks like blint is filled in at center back now absolute scenes remember if they get one goal we are back on level terms but we do have the man advantage as Kate balde that's a lovely sweeping ball to draw. I'm not looking at... I, I don't like the look of this. To Rodrigo. Back to George. Please get tight. Great tackle by De Ligt. I love the look of this. Great ball over the top. Brenner is in. Can he get round Glick? I see Moise Keane busting. He got to get in. Brenner, he goes to the byline. Oh, superb tackle from Blind. As Rodrigo hits a long ball, but Bernat reads it. Picks it up from Kate Abalde. Brilliant ball from Bernat. Keane. Brenner's at the back post. Brenner is two. And that, you think, would be that. Just come on. Mm -hmm. I can't contain how happy I am. <laughs> Rodrigo, it was a loose ball. Bernat read it superbly. Great through ball to Keane. And him and Brenner forming a little partnership to match him and up. Oh, it's just, yes, so good. 2-0, and there's another highlight straight after the goal. Are we going to do a Bayern to Monaco? Are we going to give them an absolute pumping? 
I'm sure so. Looks to lost Rodrigo. Rodrigo gets in, squares it. Pellegri is 2 1. Oh, God, please don't do this. Oh, come on. And then you can probably hear the nerves in here. Imagine what the nerves would be like if you could hear it in the stadium. Brilliant ball from Rodrigo, and that's a great finish from Pellegri. He just sweeps it into the far corner. Danger. Dangerous. 2 1 at half time. It's a bit closer than I'd like it to be. I guess I'm happy with the performance, boys. Keep it up. We need to make sure that we do not take off off the gas. I will, because I don't want it to become even. I will take Benat off. Diallo is going to come on. I just can't afford to go down to 10 men today. We can't afford that. I've gone back on attacking. We are going to try and get this third goal and put the tie to bed. And now I've gone. Nothing's changed in terms of the scoreline. We haven't had a highlight yet in the second half, which part of me is delighted about. The other part of me is slightly... A bit worried for. I think what we'll do, I think we'll bring on Emre Chan actually. And what we're going to do is we're going to put Albeck into an advanced playmaker role and then have Emre Chan playing as the deep line playmaker. We've got two more defensively minded players in the midfield now in Chan and Tucson that will hopefully just solidify it a bit. So Sissi is allowed to come off. Rodrigo's injured, which is good news, and they've made all their subs as good as he's been. I think it is time to take off. Uh, Moise Keane because we want to rest him up for the Arsenal game and we brought on Fia Arp this is his moment that's a good ball out wide from Arp to Odrizola whip that in Odrizola straight into David De Gea and Pellegrini is right up against our back three I'd fancy all three of them to beat him in a competition but then it's Ericsson behind that I'm worried about as De Gea for us out to Fabinho Tielemans on the ball into Christian Eriksen we can't let them sit on it Fabinho to Tielemans don't do not do this Pellegrini is through on goal please don't do this Pellegrini great save by Butland God get there Jesus right okay off attacking we're going to the counter I, we cannot not like this we're going to tell the boys to concentrate God we're just grinding through this at the moment this isn't what I had in mind when they went down to 10 men, I thought that would be it. But if anything, they've been the better team. Well, not statistically, but in terms of highlights, they've had more than we've had since they've gone down to 10 men. Five seconds remaining. Emre Chan, spread the play. You've got to play that to Audrey Zola. No, not there. Brenda, yes! Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes! We've made it. A Champions League final awaits. PSG await. So congratulations, lads. You've all dreamt of being in the final, and now you're going to do it. I'm delighted for all of you. Some of them like it. Some of them aren't too bothered. Don't care, lads. It was a great performance. This is going to be difficult. PSG smashed Valencia 4-1. Uh, oh, my God. Look at Mbappe. It's just a look at it. The final's going to be played at Old Trafford, so it's sort of semi on home soil. Uh, and Pedro Wendell like, gets a bonus for reaching the t uh, for helping the team reach the final. I don't care, mate. You've earned it. Well done. So, all that means we have three fixtures to go in the series. Two episodes, which means we're going to finish on episode sixty, which seems like a nice round number. A win at home to Arsenal and a win away at Bramall Lane will see us crown champions for a second time in a row. It's going to be bloody difficult. You saw it there. I thought Mark again had to 10 men. That would be quite easy. And they made it so difficult. We were literally a button save away from going out again in the semi-final. We managed to hold on. We didn't choke. That's what I signed him for. Let's see. Who, who Chelsea got to finish? And Chelsea have got Watford at home and Man City at home. Watford, I fancy that they'll be fine with that. But City at home... You never know, you never know. They might have, they can't have any eyes in their pickup final. They'll all be thinking all about the league title. How many games have they won in a row? They've won nine games in a row. That's ridiculous. Thanks so much for watching the episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. It was stressful, but good. Two big wins have seen us kind of make up for the depressing episode yeah, in the last one. Just thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please do like, share, and subscribe, and make sure you come back for the Premier League season finale where we could retain our title with two wins and then definitely make sure you come back for our first ever Champions League final in episode 60 which will be the series finale Premier League first, Champions League later it's going to be hard to try and ignore it though thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you then stay cool, if you can <laughs> I can't
<laughs> oh my god, we made it. We made it. It's all about this point. Mwah! Yes! <laughs>